Goose. day. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, which I feel like I say a lot, um, but variety is the spice of life, right? So <laughs> I'm going to just be showing you all what I got in Abby's Chewy order. Um, not really the cats, I'm, this is going to just be puppy treats and just show you um, other treats that I have on hand. So it's kind of just a look in our treat cabinet. Um, Abby, for anybody who doesn't know, has uh, sensitivities. She's got a lot of allergies. She does not tolerate a lot of the normal dog stuff. She did not tolerate like Beneful or um, Pedigree. A lot of the big name brands she has trouble uh, digesting and she gets really, really sick. It is not fun. Um, I think a couple months after I had adopted her, um, in the fall, she had the worst stomach virus. It lasted, I want to say four to six weeks. It was really, really brutal. But the first day of the virus, when we had woken up, there was diarrhea literally everywhere. Uh, she was sleeping at that point in time, just downstairs, um, you know, getting adjusted to life here. Um, and she had gotten into the basement and literally there was not a spot that wasn't covered in diarrhea and we all thought, oh my gosh, she must have eaten something, right? And took her to the vet, didn't eat anything, everything was viral and infection. She was off and on antibiotics, it was pretty miserable. Um, so I'm very, very careful with what I feed her. So I figured I would share, especially for any other pet parents out there who have dogs with lots of sensitivities. I know it's a thing. Um, hopefully this video is entertaining and helpful. So um, I think everybody's figured it out at this point in the pandemic. Anytime you order stuff is going to take a hot minute to get to your house. So think ahead, <laughs> order ahead of time. I know. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, if you can hear her. Um, but in perspective, usually a Chewy shipment takes, I don't know, two days maximum to get to my house because it, I'm pretty close to like Chewy headquarters, <laughs> which is pretty helpful for us. Um, but right now you're looking at a week plus and then like I was not able to continually track my package, which was a little bit frustrating. Um, UPS and FedEx, I've been having problems tracking everything, um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we did end up picking up extra backup treats just because I was like getting a little bit nervous that I wasn't gonna have treats. So, and like, I could, we could live without treats, but I prefer not to just because like we're always training, we're always doing something. So 
Uh, okay, so we're actually going to start with mixers first, and I add these sometimes to Abby's kibble, but at the same time, we also just use them for training. If I'm perfectly honest, she thinks that they are treats. <laughs> she does not realize that they're like fancy kibble. So this is the first one. It is called Core. I guess maybe it's Wellness Core. Bowl Boosters. It says mixer toppers, tender, gently air dried, moist, and super tasty nuggets. These are white fish and salmon. I decided to go with a fish because, like I said, she's got a lot of allergies. Not only does she have like intestinal issues with like foods and stuff, but she has like um, outdoor allergies, like to grass or pollen or something like that. We're not sure what it is. She has not been tested yet, but she definitely has allergies. So I was hoping that this, like with the omega threes and stuff, to help her skin. And I did also get another supplement because she's been taking supplement um, and we're just trying to see if it makes any difference for her. Um, but like the ingredients here are like, I'll read just a couple because I'm not going to read all of them, but I will have them linked in the description. Um, salmon, whitefish, chickpeas, uh, let's see, salt, which is weird. Apparently there's skim milk flax seeds, sunflower, um, and then they list like all the different vitamins. I don't know why they're all listed separately, but they are. Um, so some of them, B12, folic, vitamin C, rosemary extract, green tea extract. So a lot of really good ingredients. Um, and like I said, they're just stuff that you add to kibble. So they're that's what they look like these and I'll show you the other mixers they're quite different this was the first time I got anything by wellness core I was uh, happy with it I mean I didn't it's not like you know super fancy and nothing super special but it is exactly what I wanted it gets the job done so this is the next one I love Stella and Chewy I'm a huge Stella and Chewy fan um, what I really, really love about this is that you get, like, actual fruit in it. Ooh. Let's see. I knew. She's, like, over here. She's like, oh, gosh, Stella and Chewy. So, these are, like, freeze-dried blueberries. Would you like a blueberry goose? And I will just break off a little piece for you. There you go. Mmm. That's good. And then these nuggets look different. Um, but... I do like the Stella and Chewy ones a little bit better just because I do like the dried fruit um, and so does she. She actually really loves their dried fruit, like specifically from Stella and Chewy. Um, she's not as always a big fan of like other dried fruit for dogs. I don't know what it is with theirs. Um, but these are Meal Mixers Little Super Blends Cage Free Chicken for, well, apparently I got the Small Breed <laughs> brand, which is not the first time that happened. Um, but it really, it's just because, like, if you're using it as kibble or with your kibble all the time, you'll go through this really, really, really fast with a dog my size. But I'm adding, like, one or two to a meal occasionally um, or using them mainly as treats. So it's, it's a little bit different. I have, you know, some flexibility. I guess I should read some of the ingredients since I already started that. Um, but these are, like, these are all raw the Stella and Chewy ones so they got like the organ the bone and all that good stuff without doing all the raw work because feeding your dog raw is a lot of work and it is super expensive and I'm not gonna lie it's super good but this allows you to get some of the benefits without transferring completely to raw and she just she loves it and I feel like it is so good for her even though like she's not completely raw fed, but I feel like because of the holistic food and like treats like this, I just feel like it contributes to her being healthy, which is the goal. That's what I want, obviously. All right, so these ingredients are written much, much smaller. <laughs> so I will read a couple, but we're not gonna go crazy because my eyes, guys. So chicken with ground bone, chicken liver, chicken gizzard, Organic bananas, organic blueberries, organic strawberries, which she loves. Those strawberries. I was, like, hunting after I had adopted her and we tried these. I hunted for um, just strawberries, freeze-dried for dogs. I couldn't find them. 
Um, <laughs> there's also dried kelp, spinach, broccoli. I mean, all the good stuff. Like seriously, there's a lot of good nutrition for pups in this bag. But I am a huge, like I said, huge, huge, huge Stella and Chewy fan. Never had a problem with any of their products. I love their ingredients. I love how like they do stuff. Like I've read so much about that company specifically. I am in love with them. So I do highly recommend them. The only thing is, is I did get cookies one time. I don't know which type. But they're really hard cookies. And Abby's trying to move my chair. Um, but the cookies were really, really hard. And I was not able to break them. And I break all of her treats. So that was like my big downfall one time with them. Which honestly is nothing. Alright, so moving on. We'll start with the actual treat treats. We will do the brand that I know first. And then we'll go to the other ones. These are Zooks. This is the only size the pet store had this morning. So this was our backup in case my other treats didn't come. I don't think, I've never seen a bag of Zooks this big, guys. Seriously. But I love Zooks. I'm going to show you how tiny they are. All her treats are tiny. And of course, like, I feel like I should have positioned this this way they could see you. So these are Zooks and they're super tiny. We love Zooks. So these, I do. I break them. And I know somebody's going to be like, oh my gosh, that's the only thing you give your dog at once. Yep. And she's used to it. And she's so, so grateful for it. So it works for us. So these are the chicken recipe. Um, my parents picked it out for her. I think my mom did. Which, you know what? Anything, again, by Zooks, I do like the company. I think they're a great company. Um, these are very, very low calorie. Mixers are higher calorie, which is why I don't use them as much. These are super low calorie. Less than two calories per treat. Uh, chicken, ground rice, ground barley, different type of barley, cherries, sunflower oil, vitamin C, E, zinc, uh, rosemary extract, all the stuff. So that's a couple of the ingredients. We love Zooks. Um, they're great training treats. I do try to like keep them kind of like lower calorie if that makes sense. Um, most of the time just because we do a ton of training and like it's just better, more convenient to have lower calorie ones on hand. But then I also have ones that are like higher quality. So it's all balance. Uh, we have not tried these next two. The third one we tried like a piece of, so I don't know. Take that for what you will. Um, Abby is not the pickiest dog in the world, so if your dog's picky, don't go by what Abby eats. Uh, because I've never really gotten a bag of treats that she didn't like, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like there's a trend with this chicken. Is this chicken too? I don't know. Nulo style, freestyle is the brand. N U L O. Um, like I said, never really tried them before. Um, I don't really have much to say. They are two calories. Um, I know that there's a meat, but it's not telling me on the front. Oh, there it is. It's duck. So this is duck with chickpeas. There's coconut in it, which is always a favorite of hers. Cherries, blueberries, flax seeds, salmon oil. Again, because I'm trying to like keep omega-3s in her diet. Um, so again, low calorie. You can tell they're super tiny. Um, and probably this amount of treats will like last us anywhere between two to three months. Um, and then this is Blackwood Dog Treats, which is duck, chickpea, and sweet potatoes. And these actually, I'm going to show you, they look really good. Well, let me show you the bag first. Okay. And you can try a tiny piece because you're right here and you're moving my chair. All right. Let's see. There's the pop. All right. So these, oh, look at that. Those are big, so that is obviously way too big for an Abby. But I will break you a tiny piece. 
You gonna try that? Ooh, is that a good sample? Looks good, guys. Like I said, she takes pretty much any treats that I will give her, but my concern is not really what she likes, it's what she tolerates, to be honest with you. Okay, here are the ingredients. So this one, there are like so few ingredients, honestly. Like, so, so few. Duck, chickpea, coconut, sweet potato, coconut oil, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Citric acid, vinegar, and rosemary extract. So, not very many ingredients. And the last ones, we did try a teeny, teeny, tiny piece of these. Uh, she did like it. Uh, these are Wellness, which is the same company, coincidentally, as makes the mixers. Um, that was not done purposefully at all. Actually, I got most of these treats based on ingredients and price. So that's usually how I shop for her, is obviously what I think that she can tolerate. And then um, healthy ingredients and then price point that I can usually find them pretty heavily discounted at Chewy. So that's usually what we go by. So these are Wellness Soft Bites. Um, this is the lamb and salmon recipe and it's got fruits and veggies, which I love. I like to keep fruits and veggies in her diet in addition to, you know, like the meats and that's like a higher quality treat, but like it's really important for them to have fruits and vegetables just like humans, so. And I will read you a couple of the ingredients. This one's really hard to see. Like the print is about that big and it's white and the background is like a light green. So it's not very uh, user friendly, <laughs> the bag. All right, so this is lamin, lamin, because that's a word. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't talk. Lamb, salmon, there we go. Chickpeas, which apparently is very popular because all these treats have chickpeas, guys. Carrots, natural smoke flavor. I'm not sure about that one, but the rest of the ingredients looked good, guys. Uh, you can't have it all, right? Green tea extract, flax seeds, and rosemary extract. The rest of it is just hard for me to read. Um, but I obviously I read it on the computer, which was a lot easier. And I really love, there's no corn, no soy, no artificial flavors, no coloring, all the good stuff. So <laughs> it says healthy snacking, happy dogs. That's what we want. All right guys, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below um, if you find this helpful. Uh, what's in your treat cabinet right now? We would absolutely love to know, wouldn't we? So yeah. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.